Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, the rumor mill has started up again regarding the brand new Samsung smartwatch, which is now being called the Galaxy Sport. And this is said to be officially unveiled at the upcoming Unpacked event in San Francisco on February the 20th. Now, a few weeks ago, I let you guys know about the first leaked photos about the smartwatch, which was codenamed Pulse at the time. And it included rendered photos that were said to be based off of dimensions and data obtained from the actual watch. Well, a new set of rendered photos has just been released that provide more detail as to what we can expect to see in Samsung's newest smartwatch. Now, while this is expected to come with many of the features and functionality already included in the Galaxy Watch, design-wise, you can see that it's actually quite unique looking, and it's definitely a departure from some of the characteristic designs that we've come to enjoy in the Gear S3, the Gear Sport, as well as the Galaxy Watch, and of course, I'm referring to a lack of a rotating bezel. This new design is set to have a circular screen complete with two circular buttons which will most likely be used for navigational purposes. Of course, the rotating bezels on the more recent models have been used as a scroll wheel between apps, as well as for performing functions within them. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these two buttons are gonna replace this functionality, which has also been widely popular among users. But for example, we may even see an update to the Tizen operating system to provide more integration for the new controls. And although there haven't been any specific features released yet, expect the Galaxy Sport to come with the same features users already enjoy in the Galaxy Watch, including GPS for navigation and tracking, fitness functionality, including a heart rate monitor, at least 40 or more tracking activities and exercises, NFC mobile payments, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other health-related apps for managing your sleep and stress. And given that this is going to be called the sport version, I really hope that means that they fix a lot of the fitness tracking issues that users have been complaining about for the Galaxy Watch. The new sport version is also expected to have a waterproof rating that's similar to the Gear Sport and the Galaxy Watch cousins. And other features we may expect to see is 4 gigabytes of internal storage and for it to run off of the Tizen operating system. And going back to the photo, as you can see by the render here, it appears that it's going to be available in a chrome version, although I expect it to also be available in other colors for both the case and the straps, but there's been no hints yet as to whether it will come in different sizes, such as the Galaxy Watch does, as you can of course pick that up in a 46 or 42 millimeter version. Now based on the photos, it definitely looks sleeker than the Galaxy Watch, and I think this is really going to appeal to the fitness lovers out there, as I've read online some users complain that the Gear S3 as well as the Galaxy Watch aren't the most comfortable watches to wear for intense activities. So what do you guys think of this new rendered photo? Do you like that circular design? And would you consider purchasing it even if it doesn't come with a rotating bezel? And do you think it will offer enough sport features and functionality to compete with the Apple Watch 4 series? Let me know in the comments below. We're only 15 days away from the unpacked event, so I'll keep you guys updated on future links. But so far, it looks like this is going to be an awesome event with a new S10, this Galaxy Sport, and possibly even the new foldable phone that I saw at the developer conference back in November. So there's lots of goodies that are going to be unveiled here. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review. And if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.